So a little preemptive here, something I didn't video, but I just wanna tell you guys. So you'll notice in a minute, you'll see these black marks on the plywood. So what I did is I took the drawer out and you stick a Sharpie and put it on the other side of this boat. You can put it up, you can reach by and mark your spots. So I just wanna point that out real quick before we get started and here we go. All right, as you can see, they are the marked holes on each side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a drill bit Biggest drill bit I can fit in this thing, cause this is as big as the hole can get. Cause we are gonna mount these back on. So I get a drill bit as big as this, as close as I can to this. Drill one of those holes out and take it back down and see if it fits. All right, so I have my drill bit kit. This one is the one that's closest to the size of the hole. Um, let's see if we can figure out which. So three eighths is what we're gonna go with. This is upside down, so that might be better. Yeah, three eighths, I don't know if you can see it, but three eighths. So that's the size we're gonna go with. Drill these holes. Yeah, this focus doesn't catch up fast enough. Drill these holes in each one, take it back down, put it on top here, make sure everything lines up. And then we'll work on the carpet and uh, get it on. And once the carpet's on, then we'll reinstall. Right, start drilling some, just making sure the holes match, just like they do. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's keep getting this thing done. Okay, so look here, you can see the holes match up over here. Now, I try to do this with this thing and this, this bolt's not long enough, but if you stick the bolt down by itself, it does catch. So, I just need to get a longer bolt. So, I'm thinking probably at least a quarter inch longer. Uh, I mean, heck, the thing here is, the is half an inch by itself, so I'm thinking at least three quarter, maybe not a full inch. Uh, the only bad thing about those the bolts under this thing is that they do break the welds break and spin for my people so I thought about just doing a longer bolt and do washer nut locking nut on the bottom and then washer on top of the longer bolt so bolt just a little bit smaller than the there is down there a little bit smaller than this one so we'll see uh, I'll let you know you'll see as soon as I get my make my decision but ultimately just want to make sure that these all fit. You can see the holes do match, match up. Uh, I don't know if you can see those because it's so far back and I can't get back there to them. So, yeah, looks like they match up there. Uh, match up there. And this is the back. And you can't really see, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, they do match up. So, you yeah. know, even if you can't see, worst case scenario, you can always run this in here. May have to move the board just a little bit here just to get it to fit in. Even if it doesn't completely thread up, if I use a smaller bolt with a washer plans like I talked about, oh, there it goes. Just had to scoot over a little bit, there it goes. Now it's in. So, yeah, lines up. Just had to scoot you just aside. So, this is awesome, guys. Uh, some of you might because they were using particle board, so it didn't split like this. I probably could have done that better. I just used a drill. I probably should have used a smaller bolt to begin with, and then used another drill to uh, get it in. So, let's see if I can get this thing to line up. I said it's not a huge deal if it's not perfectly aligned as long as it's over the holes. Uh, enough to where I can fit a smaller bolt in it. So, I'm not sure what's going on with this side. I have to look at it a little bit more. But yeah, we'll get these bolts in momentarily and get this thing going. Okay, I just want to give you guys a heads up on what I'm using on this project. So, here's a roll of just regular carpet. You can get this at most auto parts stores. I got this one at O'Reilly's. Uh, nothing special to it. They offer it in gray and black. A lot of people use it for like speaker boxes for aftermarket stereo boxes, subwoofers and such. I also want to get you some carpet adhesive. Uh... You know, this will help it stick it down, keep it from sticking up. I will be using some uh, staples in a staple gun. I'm going to try to limit that to the underside, depending on how well this carpet adhesive works. So that way um, it doesn't show. I mean, I won't have it covered anyway with the canvas back cargo liner. But, you know, if you're going to pull that cargo liner off with the Velcro, it's going to pull up on that carpet. So it'd be nice if this stuff can help keep it down. 
I made right. that. So we got the carpet done. Uh, like I said, just use some adhesive. Use a staple gun underneath here. Got all that cleared up. And I went ahead and put these bolts with a washer in the holes over these hooks in all four corners. Uh, I did have to, and they're just sitting there. They're not fastened down yet. I will take these uh, locking nuts and washers here on the bottom half. And I have to use a 10 millimeter socket with a 10 millimeter wrench. One, this on top and this underneath to try to tighten them up. This is gonna be a challenge on those back ones. So uh, I'll probably try to hand tighten them just to see if I can do that first. And then we'll go from there. With me, it's gonna be hard for me to reach both. I may have to get my partner to assist, but we'll see. Anywho, uh, so I will put the bags I got up from Menards where all the, the hardware, uh, these do not fit in the thing. They're only six millimeter bolts. So everything's six millimeter, but I'll put the package, uh, pictures of the package stuff, the stuff. I did not order these online. So if you ask for a link, I won't be able to give you one, but I went to Menards, which is a local hardware super house, kind of like a Home Depot or Lowe's and got them. As long as you get that size, regardless of whether you get off Amazon or whatever, you know, search Amazon, search Google, whatever you want to do, and then you should be fine. And uh, we'll get this done here in just a second. Okay, just a quick update. I hope you guys can see this because the lighting is not that good. Uh, so I got all the other four-wheel cutters done, but I'm gonna knock this one out. I got this uh, uh, wrench on top of the 10 millimeter on top. I'm gonna put this other 10 millimeter socket wrench on the bottom and then tighten them both up and then we're completely done. Start putting the shelf back together. So I just wanna give you guys a quick update. Like I said, sorry about the video quality because this is at night. All right, so here's the labels from the screws and washers and nuts that I use. I got these at Menards. So you can probably get these at any local hardware store. Just make note of the size and I'll put them in the description below. Okay, I wanted to get out here with some daylight so you guys can really see how nice this is. This is very nice. Uh, it's up pretty good on the side here. There's a little recess here, which I'm not that much of a woodsman. I'm not gonna be able to get around that. So you can see one here, and you can also see one back here. Not much I can do about that. But this is where the back seats reclined all the way back. So if you if they go forward any at all, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap there. As you can see, I did a really good job. I'm very impressed with myself on this. So know just under the speaker too so be interested to see the canvas backs in here I'll probably have to really work to get them between this piece and the plastic so that'll be a little ish I don't have an issue but it'll be a, a little bit of working probably won't be like a typical install I got the velcro already up so I gotta put some more velcro up here at the top just haven't got around doing that yet but anyway yeah just want to show you guys this in daylight it looks great uh, like I said uh, love it. I did make an adjustment on this uh, thing, there's a drawer here. I took the barrier out across here because what I found is that most of my recovery gear is so big it's hard to fit in those shelves, the grid. The only bad thing is this will move side to side a little bit. But, you know, got everything to fit in there. May end up having to take some stuff out because there's probably some stuff I just don't need to carry around on an everyday basis. But you know, and once I get a better jack and get a better place to mount it, I'll probably take the factory jack out of here. And the Wii Boost will be mounted, obviously, uh, at some point as well. But yeah, so I did, I took this divider out and I took uh, this divider out that goes across through here. So it's basically one huge big square here, more of a rectangle, more of a square, and more of another rectangle. So I think this is the perfect fit. Because if you take any more out, you just be like one big open square, which I don't want. So, anywho, so I figured I'd share all this with you guys. Hope you like it. Hope you like and subscribe. Please follow some more content, and we got plenty more to come.